Today I will show you how to make this futuristic flicker effect. Yo, hello, it's Povikas from Editing Visuals here, and guys, if you like that intro, then I'm pretty sure you will like my newest Neon Presets pack. It's a pack that was built around these glowy neon effects, which used to be my favorite effects to add on videos, but I just never made a pack for it, so now here's a pack. But anyways, let's begin. Alright guys, so what is the futuristic flicker effect about? Well, I personally think the futuristic flicker effect is about speeding up just a couple of parts of the video in a couple of frames. This is what I used to love to do in edits, and this is what I do in a lot of my intros for the videos. So I can give you an example. So for example, we can press Ctrl D on this clip to just duplicate it. And let's press Ctrl Alt T. And here, this time remap keyframe will pop up, and we can press on it. And we can find whatever frames we want. If we don't want the same frames. I'm going to find some really good frames. So I'm just going to type something random like uh, 27, uh, 10. And we will pop up on this frame. That is a cool frame. So let me just take this and cut it to here. And now let's go four frames forward. And here we can make the time remap way more further, somewhere like to 57, 0.2. Basically, the whole point of this is to have every frame different. And I'll just cut it up here and look at this. Now we will just have so many different frames. And that's the whole basics of this effect. So like here we have a clip and then it just like speeds up like that. And then it comes back to the clip. So yeah, that's kind of like the idea of this effect. It's not the flicker yet but it gives that futuristic vibe, I think. And now let's actually add the futuristic flicker effect. So let's press Ctrl to Y to make a new adjustment layer. And I'll press Ctrl Shift D to cut it up to the size we want. So I want it to go to just the size of the sped up effect, I guess we can call it. And here we can start adding effects. So the first effect I'll add is CC Lens. And let's make the size to 108 and the convergence to 50. And now let's add S Flicker. I like to make the amplitude kind of high, so like 0.44. You can make it even higher, to be honest. And I also like to change the random color amplitude to 0.45 as well. Well, not as well, actually. It's just a tad bit different. Now let's add Deep Glow. I forgot to mention, but S Flicker requires the Sapphire plugin, and Deep Glow requires the Deep Glow plugin. You can keep the Deep Glow settings like this, or you can lower the exposure if it's too much. Uh, well, I just like it like this. And now let's add four color gradients because I want to have some colors. So this is very optional, but uh, you can choose the color blue, for example. So let's just go here and choose like this blue. And we can take this pen tool and take it from here. And we can actually take this and here. So we can have like different blues and we can go to blending mode and choose color and go to blend, make it to 20 and go to opacity. And I like to make it to like 40. So it's not like fully blue, but I just want it to be a bit blue. So like before, after. And the last effect we'll add is CC Vignette. And I don't really like to change it that much, but sometimes it's cool to have like the amount at the start to 100, at the end when it keeps going to like 400 almost. That's what I sometimes do, but if you don't want to, you can just not do it and just have that 100. And this is actually pretty cool right now, so we can go press Ctrl A and go to animation, save animation preset. And here we can save this as a preset, so I'm going to call it Futuristic Flicker and press save and whenever we want to add it you'll be able to go to effects and presets type futuristic flicker and just drag it on the adjustment layer and that's it another little trick i like to do is i like to press ctrl d on this adjustment layer and cut the adjustment layer to one frame and here let's go to effects and presets add inward on top of deep glow and just keep it at rgb and right here it's a bit too bright so we can make the blend with original a bit higher and you can use this invert wherever you want. So like, for example, you can use it at the end to give this sort of effect. I do want to make the exposure here to like 0.45 because it's a bit too much. And here we have a disco effect. So we can have it at the end and we can press Ctrl D. And let's just bring it back to the start. So we would have this cool effect. And this is how it would look basically. Uh, we cannot have the invert if you want. And without the invert, it would maybe even look cooler. This is how it would look without invert. And it's just like a really fast futuristic flicker. I really love using this effect a lot. There are so many different combinations. Just make sure to have different frames. Don't make it too many frames, like four frames. I think five or six is the maximum. I sometimes like to have it even for two frames or three frames. For example, at the ending of this, I had like this little thing here. And then I had only three frames. One frame was like this. And how I made this is basically I added invert as I did here, but I made the deep glow exposure way lower. And this is what I did with the other effects. I actually made the blending mode to soft light here. And this is the settings of this one. And then if you go here, I made the deep glow a bit lower here. So yeah, you can mess around very much here. Look, only three frames for this one. And also I made this flicker as you saw in the intro. 
this is just like a normal flicker all i did was add transform make the scale higher as flicker blah 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 deep glow and cc vignette and here i actually made the cc vignette get bigger so at first it was only 23 and then it became 200 so yeah that's just more on the flickers I really make sure to mess around and have different frames and i would also really recommend to add some effects from my neon presets pack on edits or music videos that have this style and this futuristic flicker effect because it combines very well i can show you what i mean so like for example i can press ctrl to y and here we can go to effects and presets and type neon and these are all of the effects you will have over 20 i'll actually add more so this is not even the final version but let's just go to a neon one and drag and just drop it and this is the effect you would get works very well with the style effects absolutely beautiful effect we have also plenty of bonuses so for example like you could add neon enhancers below or above any effect you can add neon text effects you can even add neon flicker effects which are very cool and very very enhanced so yeah i also like to use these a lot in like endings and stuff this is probably the coolest flicker effect i've ever seen in my life and if you guys want this pack then remember to use the code povicas it will save you five dollars off but anyways guys that's about it for the video. If you have any questions, then please let me know. But guys, it was fun. Have a fun and productive day. See ya.